Peace fam, what's good? I'm Ivy and you're at Ivy Vibes. And if you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, thank you for coming back. I am tired right now, but when I tell you I'm going to get this read out, I'm going to get it out. I'm ready to go to sleep. Um, it's just been a long day. <laughs> so this is going to be a read about what your natural gift is. Uh, I did a read um, like this before and um, I think it, it did pretty good some people were fairly interested in it so we are going to see um, it's going to be different it may be different than what, what you think um, but we're going to take a look and see uh Get these cards out. What's your natural gift can be? It may surprise some of you. So, uh, what we have for your natural gift is the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. Mm. So, you possibly could have this as a natural gift. The ability to have new opportunities. New opportunities could always present themselves to you no matter what. Um, you might just be that kind of person that always gets hit with a whole lot of new opportunities. Whether it is in love, uh, relationships, different situations, uh, work. Um, but then you also have as a gift the ability to be able to uh, rest and take a break. Um, I would even go as far as being able to meditate and spend that time to yourself, like knowing when to uh, disconnect, if you would, from everything and just give yourself that time to... Um, let things go and take a break. Not that you're completely letting letting anything go, but um, just kind of knowing when to when to fall back. Some people wish that they had this, especially when it comes to these new opportunities. Like you might just really be that kind of person that always is blessed with some kind of new opportunity. If something falls through on one end, something else ends up coming through and falling in your lap. <clears throat> and you know, um, this feels like you just kind of know how to balance things out to a, a uh, large degree. Like you don't allow things to overwhelm you and overtake you. Um, you know when to say no and just really, you know, fall back. So let's see, what could be a hindrance? What kind of things are a hindrance to your development of this? And I would say too, uh, with the Ace of Pentacles, uh, as far as new opportunities, this is also not just new opportuni opportunities presenting themselves to you, but you finding new opportunities. Um, most like being in the right place at the right time, um, making new opportunities for yourself. Um, and even, I would say, starting over, you have that gift of being able to start over um, almost effortlessly. So what is a hindrance to your development? I would say that it would be with the Knight of Pentacles here and the Ace of Wands, um, showing passion when it comes to moving slowly and showing some type of passion and enthusiasm um, when it comes to having a new start. Okay, so maybe you, you know, when you have these things where you um, have to start over, your startup game might be kind of slow. Um, but it's nothing, it's nothing wrong with that. I think that this is also, uh, really making sure that you are 
you got all your ducks lined up in a row um, to make sure that whatever it is that you're going to do, you're going to move forward on it, but you're moving forward on it just really slow. That's it, almost slower than slower than slow like you need to kind of pick up the pace on it a little bit or put a little bit have it have it show a little bit more passion and enthusiasm and drive when it comes to um having these new starts and this is again also under the the, the having a break so when it comes to these um things you may break a little too long when it comes to you know getting yourself out there and having that new start but once you do um you're good so let's see what is it now that you can do to develop your gifts what can you do to develop your gift what can you do to develop your gift okay So I would say um, stand on your principles. Don't back down from uh, whatever it is that you know that you should do. And enjoy your seven. That's the seven of wands. And then the three of pentacles. Make sure that you're getting out there and collaborating your efforts with the community. Um, developing things with other individuals. Um, letting your, building your confidence Having confidence, I would say, in yourself. Like, really do those things to develop your confidence. And allowing yourself to be seen. Uh, put yourself on display almost. But really getting out there and collaborating. Joining your efforts with others. Uh, finding those people that you can uh, network with. And um, maintaining your position, like really being firm on whatever it is that you want and not, um, not being a pushover about it. Not, not that you have to be like overly demanding or anything, but you just want to make sure that you are standing firm on whatever it is that you believe and not allow yourself to be swayed because you could be in a position where there are going to be people that look up to you. And they may need to be able to count on you when it comes to, um, I would say, your determination, your reliability. And um, what's the word that I was looking for? Just your, your overall drive. Uh, because it really, it really does feel like when you get in, when you do whatever it is that you do that you will have, you, you may always tend to be someone who has a lot of people around you that show you a, um, lot of attention or may even try to fight for, um, your position. Like you might be the one that has the idea, but they execute it or they take that idea from you and it's your idea. So you might need to fight for your your position a bit more or uh the recognition um for what it is that you do don't be uh don't back down don't be ashamed um not really ashamed but don't be afraid to voice what it what it is because the more that you voice um what what it is that you need to stand up for the more confidence you're going to have within yourself and the more people are going to look up to you and recognize you, um, but just get out there and, you know, network. So that's what you need to do to uh, develop your gift more. So what do you need to release when it comes to what can be a blockage or something that is challenging for you when it comes to uh, your gift? Okay. Okay. So we have. This is crazy. We have um, cards or something. The nine of swords and the nine of pentacles. And this is, you know, what's a hindrance? What you need to let go of is anxiety and worry. 
being in your head and allow uh, the thoughts of things to disrupt you from being able to enjoy the things that you built for yourself. Uh, sometimes there's like a sense of worry and guilt of what people are going to think about you because you uh, may aspire to be in a better place, a better position, and uh, you may get there a lot of times. But because of that, there are, um, you may overly concern yourself with what other people are going to think. It's like you have built a mansion for yourself and now you're afraid to live in it because you don't want people to think that you feel like you're better than them and I won't even say better than them but that you're not um, reachable but it's like it's your mansion so why shouldn't you uh, live in it? Why shouldn't you appreciate it? These are things that you have worked for. You you deserve it. It's like going to school and getting all these accolades. But after you get your, your certification, not posting that degree on the wall, not allowing anybody to see what it is for fear of people thinking that you're bragging on yourself. But... You've earned those bragging rights. And it's not like you're showing off. You actually did work hard for what it is. So you need to enjoy it. So this is a block for you or something that, you know, I don't know if it is something that has happened where you, you allow these worries and concerns of what other people think and how they see you to stop you from enjoying life. Uh, taking a vacation every now and then, not constantly working and working and working you know simply because other people friends or family are not able to uh take a vacation and um relax and enjoy themselves because they have not attained the same things that you have attained and when you say oh you know what do you do what do you you know, if someone says, what are you doing this summer? Oh, I'm going to such and such, you know. I just wanted to, you know, treat myself and go somewhere, you know, because I'm always working. And, oh, it must be nice. Yeah, it. well, guess what? It is nice because I worked hard and I deserve it. I should not have to continue to uh, work, work, and work and not enjoy the things that I have created for myself. So get out your head. Stop worrying about what other people are going to think about you. Because they did not put in the work or the effort or they're just not in that position. So you can't sit around and stop yourself from enjoying life or feel so bad for other people that it causes you to um, not give yourself what you deserve. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that definitely is something that you need to kind of let go of or release or even the, the whole thing of, you know, people in the family or friends will make you feel guilty um, because they simply don't have that same thing. But again, you have worked hard for whatever it is that you got in hell. Even if you didn't, you're the one that got it. So do what it is that you would like to do with what it is that you have. And don't allow your, the worry of your thoughts or what other people think even to get in the way. That's just going to hinder you. Um, so you want to release that. So let's see how to use. What is the best way for you to use? What is the best way for you to use your gifts? Teach people in your family how to. Um, how to. Find ways of making the most of new opportunities. Um, and this could be a bit challenging, you know, and also um, finding that time with to just to go inside and soul search. You know what I'm saying? 
that is also going to help you because when you spend that time alone, that's going to actually help you when it comes to developing your uh, your gift. But you have this gift, like I said in the beginning, of um, having the ability to have new opportunities, creating new opportunities for yourself and knowing when to, to fall back and take a break, not over exerting yourself. So the best way that you can use your gifts is for your 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 family. Um, not do the work for them, but show them to only to those that really are willing to listen. Don't waste your time and your energy um, on those that aren't willing to put in the work and do it. But showing them how you do these different things, uh, maybe sharing some of the knowledge that you've acquired that allows you to be able to um, create new opportunities you know, for yourself and then how to take a break and spend that time alone. So just like we have here, you know, where there's like this anxiety and this worry about what your, you know, people may say about you when it comes to you having this money and spending it on yourself, enjoying your life. This is how you can actually show people how to take that time even if they can't go anywhere, they don't have the money and the resources, but they can still find time, even if it's just taking one day off uh, or a weekend off a month, showing them how to find the time to utilize um, the, their time and not do anything. Just, I'm not doing anything for anybody. It's just all going to be about me. I don't have to go somewhere. I don't have to spend a whole bunch of money. But I'm going to make sure that I take that time and I invest some time in myself. You know what I'm saying? If you just want to show them how to kick back, um, relax, uh, not worry or think about anything, um, and not do anything for anybody because it's, hey, this is their time. You can show your family how to do that. And then you can also show your family how to get in this place where they can um, gain the, the information and the knowledge um, to create something for, for not just them, but for the family, to create a sense of family wealth. You know what I'm saying? If you're the one that is the most educated in the family and you have all this information, now I'm not saying give it away, but I am saying um, be reasonable when it comes to your resources, education-wise, of how you share with your family because if you have courses um, that you do when it comes to um, financial courses or you just have this education and maybe you're in the process of doing something like that be reasonable about what it is that you're going to give you did not just attain this um you know, through nothing, even if you didn't pay for it when it comes to going to school or anything like that, you just acquired this information on your own. You were the one that took the time to study, to um, get the information and start to use it and your time and your effort to be able to be in this position. So now when I say be reasonable, if you have a course, maybe you, you charge your family half of the price. You know what I'm saying? Not full price, but half the price because you still deserve to get paid for the knowledge that you have. You should not be giving anything away for free. People tend to take you for granted or feel like they are entitled to have whatever it is that you have without them feeling like they have to do anything for it. No, because you are the one that has put in all of this work and everything for it. You are the one that should get, you should get compensated for it. But that's the thing that you can teach your family. You can teach your family how to create opportunities for themselves. And you can do that by spending that time by yourself, you know, and even teaching your family also um, how to take time and uh, listen to their intuition. Know when to take a break. Know when to um, just kind of pull back and spend that time that they need to um, for themselves. So that is how you can use your gift in the best way. Um, and I think that that's great because, again, this will set up a, a system where you develop family wealth with 
in um, generational wealth within your family. So again, this this read, like I said, is is not like your typical read when it comes to um, your your gifts because I think that every time I do this, it is going to tend to be a bit different and it's not going to be the same. And everybody will start to see how different uh, our gifts are, even if they seem like they're quite menial. Um, all of those things still are gifts. They're not things that everybody has. This is what makes you a bit unique. Uh, this is what makes you different. And this is something that you can actually look at whether you thought that it was valuable or not, but it's something within yourself that you can actually find value in when it comes to your own individuality. So I hope that I was able to aspire you, inspire you, um, help you and assist you in some kind of way. Um, and give you some, give you something else to, you know, look at yourself in the mirror about and say, wow, yeah, like I am really like that. Um, so I'm hoping so if this does happen to be a gift that you have I would love it if you would be able to share it with me let me know um just so I can see that this resonated with you so thank you guys again for all the support that you give me coming to my channel watching my videos I really appreciate it and um I guess I will see you guys the next time like share and subscribe and hit your notification bell so you know the next time that I upload a video on Google.